Hey guys, welcome to Proxy Best Practices. Today we're going to talk about how you can simply manage KPIs or key performance indicators in Proxy. Okay, to get started, we're going to talk about a general understanding of KPIs, what they are, how to work with them. Then you're going to create your KPI groupings and how you want to organize all your KPIs. Then we're going to show you how to add those KPIs. We have a couple of different types for you to add. And finally, how to track actions and the progress of all the activities uh, involved in making those KPIs reality. Okay, when you come into the app, you're going to be presented with this overview screen. And this gives you uh, a step-by-step -step overview of the process here. There's also a beautifully uh, laid out video on key performance indicators and what they mean and how to work with them. I encourage you to watch this. Uh, you can also invite your team uh, to Praxi in this process or send a request to one of our team members if you'd like to customize this app. The first thing you're going to do is go to Create KPI. And what that does is that'll open up the, K the KPI wizard and you can really create one of two KPIs. It's listed down here. Before I get there, this is uh, uh, the same video you're watching now. So if you ever want to uh, go back and review it, you can do that here. There are two types of KPIs you can create. One is a tracking or often called a continuous uh, KPI. And this is for tracking things like sales or leads and things that you're going to have a continuous incremental uh, approach over the months. Um, and then there's a task-based or what they call binary KPI, which is the kind of like, did you launch a product or did you hire somebody, etc. So we're going to start with a uh, continuous or tracking KPI. Now that brings up the KPI wizard. You're going to add the KPI name here. I'm going to put test KPI. You can choose whether you want that to be a year, quarterly, um, etc. or monthly. Uh, you can choose whether you want it to be percentage or latest uh, result. And you can choose whether you want a line graph or a bar graph. That then generates your test KPI, as you can see here. And you can enter a description, um, uh, improve by 30%, etc., etc. et cetera. Um, you can enter the name of an owner. And then you can put your targets and your actuals in here, your targets of what you want to achieve and your actuals. And then that will generate your percent complete. Any notes about the process you can enter here. And then if you scroll down, you can add additional notes, you can add files, or you can add multiple tasks or actions and assign those to team members and what the status is, etc. And you can do that all within the same KPI. You'll see that the test KPI gets added here in the left column. And then you can drag that to any column you'd like as part of <coughs> that particular grouping. You can also rename or organize your groupings by clicking on these three dots. And that is how you organize your groupings. The other type of KPI is a task KPI. Now, task KPIs are different only because they're binary. Did you get the thing done or not? You can enter the description here. And then you can just start adding uh, lists of tasks that are required to get that KPI done. You can also um, put those as subtasks, etc., and organize that all here. You can also view this in table or Gantt view. Um, and you can uh, go full screen if you want to look at the project in a much larger uh, view. Once you get all of your KPIs uh, laid out here, you can see them all in this beautifully laid out board. Um, this is a standard sort of business KPI board that you have access to. You also can look at a summary. This summary shows you all of the KPIs, their status and where they are, percent achieved, etc. Um, you can also look at a master list of actions that show you all the timelines in one view. And again, if you need help, you can always come here and send a message to any of our team members for support. In addition, if you want to link external data to uh, Praxi KPI boards, you can do that by linking Excel or Google Sheets directly in our system. We also have an open API, which has many connectors, and we can connect to any other systems you like, whether those be ERP sales or other systems, and happy to do that as part of an implementation. Contact us for that, and um, this is it. This is how you simply manage KPIs in Praxi.